Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to a hump day edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio I have Chelsea from Fresh Baked Goods with a PH. Welcome, Chelsea. Yeah, thanks. So, as I've told you guys before, the show started because I knew people who were laid off and had to start these businesses during the pandemic, and they always were kind of thinking of it, and they were making this stuff at home. Uh, Pints Peak, uh, Cream Kimchi, uh, Landline Donuts, Pandemic Donuts, uh, and they've all gone on to become big things. And so similar kind of thing here, you started, I assume you were a baker and you're doing it on the side. And, and yeah. what, what was your job? What would you? Um, so I've been a pastry chef in the industry for a decade, um, which I'm pretty young. So people are a little bit surprised about that, but this is pretty much the only industry I've ever been in. Um, but yeah, so I was a pastry chef at a high volume catering company, kind of when all of this went down and I got furloughed in March. Um, and you know, I had a lot of time on my hands uh -huh. sitting at home and I'm not used to that at all. So I started doing this and you know, at first it was like kind of friends and family and then people I knew. Uh -huh. And then I started kind of putting it on social media and honestly it blew up really fast. So I just decided to go all in and I left my um, previous position and have been doing this. So I've done farmer's markets and in October was the first month that I actually um, rented a commissary space. Um, You're legit now. No yeah, more, so now no I'm fully college. licensed and in a commissary space and yeah. What uh, What's your first product that you made? Like what are you known for? You know, it's actually changed quite a bit. When the pandemic happened, I realized there was a need. You know, people were really interested in like delivery bread and yeah. stuff like that. So that's what I was focusing on at first. But, you know, as people got a little bit less in need of those essentials, I moved on to what I'm really passionate about, which is custom cakes, custom cookies, um, custom desserts in general. Uh, yeah. Well, let's run through what we brought here today. Put them on the dot here. I'm going to start right over yeah. here with these. Cookies great for Halloween. Can people still get them for Halloween? Yes, yeah. So on those, those are on my menu online and they're a 48 hour turnaround. Um, so I've got a gift box of four. That's the cute Halloween set with the cute colors. So you have a spooky um, one? Y yeah, it's not. It's the same designs, but it's the regular Halloween colors. Uh, yeah. um, so a little bit more traditional and then those are the kind of cute ones. And how much was something like this run? Uh, so the gift box like that and then they actually come individually heat sealed is $15. Uh, and then I do the regular set is also 15 and I do a two pack that is eight dollars with mm. the packaging What style of cookie is it? It's a vanilla sugar cookie. Okay. Good, Good old sugar cookie Okay, I got some cupcakes. cupcakes. Yeah, so that's my October uh, Four pack variety. Um, so you got funfetti in there in the back on the on the left <laughs> I'll say this one. Uh, Stage yeah. left. You're right. I mean, yeah <laughs> And then that's a brown butter pumpkin cake with honey buttercream. It's awesome. It's that really good. Yeah. <laughs> and the sprinkles on top are also delicious. Uh, and then in the front, that's the uh, apple caramel apple pie. So it's got an apple pie filling in there, scratch made, and then caramel frosting on top. And so then so that <laughs> one is a chocolate turtle. So chocolate yes. cake and yeah, it's super good. Uh, caramel buttercream, caramel drizzled over top of pecans. Very nice. Uh, I have to ask, because my wife is celiac, do we do any gluten-free stuff? I do occasionally on request, but you know, I don't make it on specific machinery for gluten-free. Yeah. And you know, for people with celiacs, that's really serious. So yeah. um, I mostly just do it for friends. I don't typically do, but I okay. do do a lot of vegan and other alternative things mm -hmm. um, that aren't necessarily a dietary restriction. This, this looks like what I might be eating today. Yeah, they're good. It's hard to say. So, um, so that's an Oreo brownie. It's a nice fudgy brownie. And then it's got ganache glazed over the top and Oreo crumbles all over the top. Super good. Super fudgy. Really awesome around Halloween. Awesome. And are you a chewy? I feel like a chewy chocolate chip cookie. Uh, yeah, soft, nice and chewy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, classic chocolate chip cookie. I do a lot of regular cookies as well as sugar cookies. These are what caught my eye in the first place in my Cake I mean, They're so cute and fun. Um, yeah, and you can do a lot with them design-wise. So those are really fun to do for custom orders too. They're great to customize for weddings and colors um, or for events in specific colors, but that's the Halloween variety pack. So, so what's on the what's on the inside? Um, so on the the colorful one is the Funfetti again, mm -hmm. and then pumpkin, brown butter pumpkin, same cake. Um, and then that is a red velvet zombie brain, I've been calling it, because it's green on the outside and it's a really pretty contrast. 
Um, and then the last one is a chocolate Oreo mummy. So it's got Oreo pieces in there and chocolate cake. Look at how cute that is. Super cute. All right, and then this bad boy right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm cake. picking this whole thing up, I hope. Oh, here, oh, here, no. maybe slide it, yeah. Whoop, there you go. Sliding. It's heavy. It's a long slide. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a big, heavy ceramic base. But yeah, so cakes are my true passion. This is just a really simple one, but I do a lot of um, custom cakes with fondant decorations on top. So kind of more intricate, very customized. I actually do a lot of music-related cakes. That's just kind of the realm right. that I've gotten into. Uh, so my company name, Fresh Baked Goods, is actually um, from the band Fish. <laughs> it's inspired oh. by the band Fish. Uh, they're my favorite band. So I've actually ended up, you know, that's a lot of my customer base are fish fans that I talk to on Facebook and stuff like that. And they order a lot of fish related cakes, Grateful Dead related cakes, and it's so much fun. That's what, like my, my favorite thing song? other than cakes. So um, that is a chocolate cake with cookies and cream frosting, oh, wow. Oreo pieces, caramel and ganache wow. drizzle through the middle. So I kind of went crazy since I didn't have like a custom order. I went crazy with that one and put it all in. <laughs> nice. And the last cookie, what is this? This is an apple crumble bar. So um, that's a part, that's something I didn't bring today, but I have an October variety box on my menu as well. And that includes two of the apple bars, two of the brownies, two cookies, two cakesicles, two mini cupcakes, and two sugar cookies. What was something like that, Ron? Um, that is 35 for 12 pieces. Not bad. Yeah, no, not at all. No. I think it's very reasonable. <laughs> um, and then I think I saw something that really caught my eye, which I was which was unexpected as I saw challah. Yeah, yeah. How are you making challah? Um, you know, are you Jewish? the traditional way. I am Jewish, oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah, um, got a bat mitzvah and all, yeah. um, the whole gig. But um, yeah, that's kind of my specialty bread at this point. Um, I've always loved making challah, and so that's one of the things that has stuck around from the beginning in April when I first started this, um, is challah. I just love it, and it's pretty, and it's really delicious. <laughs> this is whenever we have it in our house, we go, holla. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. I know. You got to raise the roof every time. Holla. <laughs> she knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Holla, I do that. I'm all about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, but yes, every time. My wife does it, too. Uh, how do people get your... Uh, pastries. Um, so yeah, you can order online on my website. I have a menu on there, which it's going to be monthly variety boxes and cake sickle box, cupcake box and sugar cookie box. Every month is going to be different flavors. Um, and that's a 48 hour turnaround. And then for cakes and custom sugar cookies or any other custom desserts, um, that is, I ask for a week. Um, I do do rush orders for 15% extra. Um, but yeah, and you know, I, I tend to book up at this point. I'm booked through October, right. um, not through November though. So I've got room in November. Um, but yeah, reach out early is always you, better. Are they picking them up? Are you delivering? Um, some here, some there. I do pick up in Broomfield and my commissary location in Northeast Denver. Um, but I also do delivery. Um, and so I've been doing a lot of delivery, especially for cakes. Cause people get a little nervous about traveling with those. <laughs> What's your uh, minimum on delivery? Um, it varies for the menu online. It's, um, 15 okay. for delivery. And then the cakes, you know, if it's a custom order, I'll deliver it. Um, but the delivery for cakes is a little bit higher. Right. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the show where I get to try one of your things. Yay, that's my favorite part too. <laughs> and, and this is the one that, I don't know, this is the one that's intriguing me the most. It's good. It's so cute. Uh, Chelsea, thanks for coming in. Pleasure yeah, to meet thank you. you. you too. Uh, give them the website. Uh, it's freshbakegoods.com, so that's fresh with a PH. Um, yeah, and you can find my menu on there, all of my pricing, and online ordering as well, and a little about me section too. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, we'll see you at 1130 for What's for Lunch. We have the new restaurant called Etc. coming in for What's for Lunch. I'm going to eat a mummy. Let's eat. <laughs> oh, I chose wisely. I was a good one. <laughs> I knew I.